Since March 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic has forced us into full lockdown multiple times. Reports of declining mental and physical health are rife among teenagers and adults alike. Restrictions in place concerning keeping our distance from others, preventing us from traveling beyond certain short distances and maintaining awareness of how we interact with people, along with pressure from news outlets and figureheads to follow the guidelines. It's no wonder there have been significant increases in sedentary behavior and decreases in physical activity. From low moods, decreased levels in physical activity and general malaise to sleeping difficulties, anxiety and fatigue to loneliness and depression it's clear that many are struggling with motivating and managing themselves to maintain a happy and healthy lifestyle. Many online users have shared how they utilize creativity to pass time and keep their minds active with social media platforms such as YouTube, TikTok and Instagram. This inspired us to create this video by presenting exactly how hobbies have helped us and others to stay sane during this pandemic. So what can we do to regain some control in our lives, be more creative and productive and improve our general well-being? A teenager's experiences of life in lockdown study revealed from a group of 109 anxious 16 to 19 year olds in the UK that exercising and engaging in hobbies and learning a new skill in addition to creating new routine and goals proved effective at reducing stress, anxiety and other negative feelings. Andrew Cal Hennessy here. Staying physically active is particularly important for combating many of the negatives that come from life in isolation. It's well documented that one hour of exercise can not only keep us healthy and fit, but also improve our mood, making us feel more relaxed and good about ourselves. Moving about vigorously for a while can even help boost our concentration by getting the blood flowing to the brain, which is constructive to getting us to work optimally. Exercise also helps us relieve the restlessness and tension from our bodies, allowing us better chances of getting sleep. And on top of that, there are tons of physical activities that are fun or can be made fun. So if you're finding it a bore or struggle to do aerobics or bodybuilding, try varying up the activities and make a game out of it. Once you find the fun, it becomes a whole lot easier. My name is Ariana Manacero and my hobby is music. I started playing the ukulele in 2018 and the guitar in 2019, but I had to give both up when I began college. When the COVID-19 pandemic came along, I found myself with a lot of extra time, so I decided to pick up my instruments and just relearn. It was just a great change of pace, and the fact that the outcome is immediate really did give me a sense of accomplishment, and it was so gratifying. I interviewed my friend Jordan Harris, who had a very similar experience. Um, I would describe the process as a <laughs> a long and painful process. Um, creative pain because uh, you know, I was I was doing guitar for a long time and I took like a break. Me and the guitar kind of separated for a bit, you know. Um, but then uh, I don't know. It just it it was sad watching them just sit there in my wardrobe, you know, doing nothing. And I had this skill already. I had the muscle memory to do it, you know. So. I decided, okay, I'm going to stop writing lyrics for now. I'm going to go back to the instrument, which is my tool to, you know, project what I have inside me through sound, basically. Like, if I'm angry, I pick up the guitar, I play it, and boom, something comes out of it. Like, I channel my emotions through the strings, you know, through the instrument. Well, one thing, um, Dublin 2020, 2021, I'm noticing a lot of uh, musicians appear and it's getting funkier and funkier, you know, so I'd hate to really miss out on that fun if I have the skill myself, so I thought, how about I join in again, come back in, you know, maybe I was late, but I'm here now, you know, like I come home after a rough day, pick up one of these things and just play and it just it helps me like especially when i'm angry one thing like you can go punch a bag punch a boxing bag when you're angry or you can pick up a guitar and be peaceful and just play how you feel your fingers already do most of the work but the main thing is your emotions more of a kind of emotion thing where that when i'm 
when I'm playing the guitar, just it's literally like it's like a escape. It's like going to like a different place, you know. Like you just you just get busy with it, you know. You just get busy with it. You sit there for a while, and then all of a sudden you're not feeling sad. You're not feeling anything, especially with this lockdown. You know, all this COVID stuff that's going on. Like there is going to be a lot of uh, depression coming around, and people need to do something. Like you can't just put someone in a box and expect them to sit there and be quiet. They're gonna have to, you know, mess with something. And just so happens I have three guitars that I like to mess with and they help. Many of us have started cooking a lot more over lockdown as it provides a distraction to sitting around being unproductive and watching TV. It's something useful to do and we can learn a new skill while staying at home. This is a suitable hobby to take up during this difficult time as it increases productivity from the safety of your own home and you're learning a new skill which may even increase your employability after lockdown ends. For those interested in working in the cooking industry, it's a good idea to spend time over lockdown looking for new meals to cook and different recipes to try. When you cook for yourself, from a health perspective, you're in control of what you eat. And if you're on a healthy eating buzz like many are in lockdown, cooking your own food is a great way to control the ingredients and nutrients you're consuming. For many of us, the isolation acts as a terrible excuse to give up on our good habits and let our nourishing routines become lost, leading to an unhealthy and unproductive new way of spending our days. However, as we've seen from plenty of others in the same boat as us, we still have the power to turn things around for the better for ourselves in our own gradual and increasingly fruitful ways. So think about how you feel now, reflect on how you'd prefer to feel and what you would rather be doing, and go put pen to paper and make a short list of the things you want and need to do at home to improve your life. Then go and do one of those activities, whether it's cracking eggs, lifting weights, or strumming a guitar. Whether it's one written word, two press ups or three shapes drawn, once you start doing something you'll notice the difference. When you've been at it a while, the positive feelings will take over and you'll be in a better place than you were before. I'm Jack Larkin for CDCFE News, stay active and stay safe.